Hello and welcome. I've just ordered a few toys and they've come in, so I want to show you before I open them. Kind of thing. Before I pull them all apart. <laughs> um, this is from Lucky Goddess Craft Store. Now, this is a tulip toy. I love the way tulips layer up and everything. So that was £4.87 and that's the Lucky, God Lucky Goddess Craft Store from AliExpress. Uh, that looks interesting. So I've got that one. And then I've got Dream Cat Craft Store. Now this costs 11 37 and it says buy two, get one free. But I am really disappointed in it. Because I bought two and then that was my gift. My free gift. It's a little fence. So that was a bit, I thought, pathetic. But... There we go, they don't have to give you anything. It's just that when they have a toy, is it in half? You know it when you think you're going to be getting another toy. So this is like um, a dome-shaped um, card where you layer it up along here. So I'll come back on and show you what I've done with that. Now I'll show you what, what it looks like when it's made up. And then this one, let me try and get the glare up. This one is going to be a little art box. So I thought that was interesting. Because you've got this to go around you. And uh, yeah, so I thought I'd have a play with that. And I love to look at them and think what else can I make with them. Like with that or that dome. Because I mean, you could do that by hand. But it's that dome that I couldn't get. Or cut that right. So that's why I, I've had them. And that's it. So I'll be back in a minute and show you what I've done. Right, I've cut the card out so it's like that. Okay. So it's like a layering card and you can build up the scene. And that's the three that in there, that's the round bit, that's the old bot, um, the actual card itself. And then I've stuck them like that, so that looks neat. I mean, if you go that way, it's a bit more, you know, not fitted so well. But I've gone that way, so they're fitted nice, so I'll shut, keep me to card shut like that. And then they open it, and then they've got three layers. I mean, these are a bit big. That one fits perfectly. These are a bit like bellowing a little bit because they're a bit big, but you'll see. You might, you, you have to tell. You have to tell. I haven't done nothing. Anyway, right. The tulip dye. Oh, God. Let me show you these first. I've added a little bit of ink on them just to get a little bit of dimension kind of thing. And I've only stuck them at the bottom, so they've got still got a bit of 3D dimension. So then was the first two I did. Then I did one using foam tapes, and I think it looks a lot better. You just got that automatic 3D look about it, I think. And I've only used them, and I think these was the cheap ones from Pound Shop. They're not too thick, so it's ideal for layering them. I just wish I'd have done them, but never mind, I'm going to go again. And then, um, these are a bit tricky to get out. But I think it's neat plates. Okay. Right. So then with my leaves, then, then with my new dies, right? Then I've just been playing about with these again. I've got that one. I love that one. I've done that on a card when the little girl was on the wall. I found that one, uh, found that one, then I found a love fence, so I've just coloured that in, and then I found these, and just coloured them in pretty colours, and I thought, shall we try and build it up a little bit, if we can, now then, right, I thought, that there, that could go there, then this could go there, like so, right? Let me just show you. Actually, yes, I think I could put that on the second shelf. Shall we call it? <laughs> We've got a nice little uh, gate there. Mm, so this is when I. Uh, 
start faffing. This is when I start faffing about. Right, I'm just going to do it because then we can see what it looks like and then we can always do another one. A bit dull glue. But the more you do, the more you learn. You see what looks good for you. So I'm going to put that one on that one first. So that's going at the bottom of my second layer in. Okay. Looks like I'm going to put it up a little bit higher. Yeah, I'm going to bring it up a little bit higher. Because, that's it, that's a little bit better. Then I thought about putting that there. But then I could put, I was thinking about that there, but then I thought I could put that there. Oh, hang on a minute now. I'm getting all stuck now. I could put that one there. I'm going to put that there. Yeah, let me just see. Um, I'm going to put that one on to the left and then the other one to the right, I think. Let me just add this to them. Okay. And where am I going? I'm going on the, the third biggest one now. And I'm just going to go in there. Not to the bottom, more or less to the top, really. And I'm just going to flatten that down. I think it does stick to my fence. Let's see. Oh! <laughs> I give that. Look, I've just cleaned all this. I've got my new thing out as well. And I'm not going to get glue all over it. <laughs> so then I thought we could go for that there and then put them oh just go through it a bit i'm just going to go through it now i'm just going to put glue on the bottom of this one okay. and then i'm going to put that one by the fence i think i'm going to put that one in there let's see I don't want it to the bottom, I just want it so you can see. See the flowers kind of thing when you look at it like that. How cute is that? Oh, I love it. Right, let me get me rid of this. Now I thought about this being at the front. That being at the front like that. And then I'm going to put these in, like that. Okay. <laughs> I could have got a, I should have done two of them, shouldn't I? But I'm going to be idle and just do this one, just so we can see what it looks like. We can always get better and go a bit more uh, fuller with it. But let me just, I'm just going to do a quick one, see what it looks like. Oh, <laughs> I bet you can't see that. Oh, let's put these on first quick because I want to put them behind the, behind the grass, don't I? Oh, don't put that too much on there. Okay, let me just see if I can quickly. Cut him off because he's a bit too long. I want to get him. That's it. No, I want to get him a little bit more in. A bit longer, eh? That one. How am I going to get it? Oh, how about they? Just cut them. 
so I'll put it off now, but I'll put it back where it was so you can all see that bit. You probably won't be able to see that now. Okay. Oh, look at that. And then if you look, you've got one, two, three. Oh, I don't love that. I might put a bit more of that. I need to be. Yeah, I'll do. That one's going on, though. That one. Let's cut one of them out. Anyway, I'm going to just cut one another one of these out. Right, I have just... Oh, before I start, I just went over with a slight blue. I don't know if you'll tell. The back, all this, I went blue. Then I went three different shades of green on these three layering bits. Just to take the whiteness off it. Now, this one... I'm just going to see, oh, I don't know if I'm with brush, but I'm going to go for this one, I think. I love building little scenes up. They do take a lot of work, though, because, I mean, it's die-cutting them all, colouring them all, but I do think it's, I like it. And that's why I wanted one of these, like, uh, three layer. And I wanted a different kind of shape, you know what I mean? Right, let's see if I can get a little bit of... Shaded there, look. What I was thinking of putting one there and then putting another one there. Yes, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do me another one. Old boy out. And you know what I've just thought as well? Look. Look at that. I've just die cut that out. I'm going to keep that and then use that as a stencil. And you could just stencil two on there like that. And then you could pour stamp happy birthday on the front one couldn't you so i'm going to keep this slot one as a stencil again do you know what i mean i could stencil oh excuse me i could stencil right let me just uh which one did this one again Trouble me with this. I want to get ink everywhere. <clears throat> Just putting that darker colour on the tips a bit. Okay, right then. Now I'm going to bulk, bulky this up, keeping them. Oh, look them, little stencil. And it's thick cardstock as well, so. Right then. Now I'm just going to dab on these and I'm just going to overlay them and I'm just going to pull it on the bottom bit. Okay. And then I'm just going to put this, get my fingers in there. And then I'm just going to put that there. Nice at the bottom. Okay, and then this one, exactly the same. Like that. I look full and glorious and colourful, that is. I love it. He was not going to colour, so it's just fab. Okay, and it's still gonna go black like that. And I don't like to do it that way. Like, oh. Okay, that is cute little. Uh... Oh, you know what I got? Oh, 
You know why they've probably given me that free gift? No, I've been running them down. I could put a little gate there, come between this. In my fence. <laughs> I could probably put that in there. Oh my word. I'll take it all back, I'll take it all back. Hang on. Right, now then, I did think about putting some big ones at the back, but I don't know. <sighs> I'll show you this way in a minute. Right, I was going to do, like, one there. So, I think I could have done that on a different one. I could put one there. Oh. I could do them myself and make them a bit higher. I really don't want to do, use that stage because that's like I just like that how it is. I mean, you could put butterflies, dragonflies, bees, birdies inside there, and I could put a branch there and that. I've got some branches and that. Or you could really get a terran, or you could make it as simple as you want. I could put bunting up there. So cute. I mean, look at that little bit there that I have to do. Let me see if I can show you. See that little bit there? But doll that set off that flower, don't you think? I think these are going to be a bit too much now. Yeah. I mean, you could do one with that. I mean, I've got this that I got out. This would look nice as well. I mean, it's that oh, hot pink, right? And then if you like... If you know what I mean? Did something like that. That's kind of nice on the... Uh, Hot pink cake, yeah. Oh, that looks nice as well. And then you've got this one. And I just think this is so cute. Do you know what else to do here? If ever I want to do anything else more to it, because I could put a sign there happy birthday. I need I think it needs something else. Maybe a couple of butterflies or something. Oh, let me think. Right, I have die cut the little bunting because I think this is cute just to add a bit of extra when you cut nothing else. And um, I've got a word sentiment. So that is cute. Then I've got these, I forgot I got them out. Then Violet Studio. I have 300 stickers and there's like all the same on sheet like that. And I thought, you know, I could use that there. And, oh, so many decisions. <laughs> I'm going to go for happy birthday and I'm going to put it there. Okay. Now this I've got to put on straight. And I'm not the best at that. Okay. Am I playing? Yeah. I'd put a few and then I forgot to press play. And then putting that on. That is just adorable. That stick hat couldn't go any better than that, could he? I love that. And finally, I knew these coming handy. I knew they'd come in handy. Right, let me just take you down from there. Let me just take you down from there and I'll put show you from. How adorable is that? I'll try and get like, see all the little layers. I've lifted them up so them oh yeah. And then, oh, you could have some fun with this. 
and I think you're going to see this a few times in the next week or two because I've got to st I've got to keep playing these. You could use all sorts. I love you. Right, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. I don't think you can really appreciate it more on on. Well, you can you can see the three D effect. Right then, thanks ever so much for watching. Take care and see you soon. Bye.